I do want to address this elephant in the room here, uh, which I didn't really answer with specific figures. This number uh, surprised me when I first looked at it. So the, the question is, uh, in case you know, you're going to your family holiday parties or whatever, if you were asking, you know, how many millions of downloads, how many tens of thousands of downloads do you have now? The answer is um, when you start out, you're probably expecting somewhere between, let's say, 50 to 200 downloads per, uh, per episode, and you're doing pretty well. Uh, turns out that right now, if you have the most successful podcast, the most successful 50,000 downloads in 30 days, and an episode, specifically an episode with 9,000 downloads, it's in the top 5% of the podcast. And an average 3,400 downloads puts you in the top 10%. So I think it's just gonna give you perspectives of um, you know, how you're performing as opposed to thinking everybody easily has over thousands of downloads. Now let's address the question, um, where to market your podcast? So I know social media is something that it's kind of a, funny topic for podcasters. And I say that because I know not everybody who's starting a show all of a sudden, you know, also has a Facebook page, also has a dedicated Instagram page just for their show. The show is starting, obviously you're starting from scratch. I do really like the idea of you being on social media. Again, that depends on whether, you know, if you are into home automation, you're in gardening or you're into digital marketing. So, um, for a new tool that I'm developing. By the way, I'm coming back next Thursday as well to talk about YouTube. One of the tools I'm really proud of, um, which is available as part of my YouTuberkit.com, is that I have a social media self-assessment spreadsheet there, but I will articulate this. I don't want some people to make different purchases. I don't like those presentations myself, but you need to ask yourself, where am I currently? And um, if you're just on LinkedIn, just on Facebook, has, you know, you have a personal profile, or you're just on Instagram with a hundred people following you, that's okay that you can still share your show there. But I would urge you at some point, you know, ask yourself, um, I would like to explore the social media landscape quite a bit. You can work on that by yourself with your niece, or you can hire a virtual assistant uh, per month for not a lot of money. For getting a VA, I'll just say this without bearing the lead, you can get a really qualified VA for just a few hundred dollars a month, maybe two to three hundred dollars a month. And that can really offload some of the work for you, one of which is social media, which is, I think, my personal least favorite part. I love content creation. I don't like sharing, resharing, repurposing, no matter how important I know that they are. So definitely um, consider starting a Facebook page, starting an Instagram just to see how you like it. And um, but also do not neglect um, other places like Reddit, Quora. These conversations are already happening. So if you're new to Reddit or Quora, these are the places, these are kind of these uh, uh, sort of micro communities. You can go to get, go into subreddit and talk about something very, very specific. And I know that can also be a scary place, um, but uh, there's a lot to explore there. As I notice on Reddit, for example, there are communities where it serves new podcasters, you know, podcasters who started three months ago, YouTubers with under a hundred subscribers. So very, very specific. Finding your community, by the way, is also really important. So